This is the 25th year of the Butkus Award, and uh, Matt and I uh, started something last year where we also give not only to the college uh, linebacker of the year, we also give one to the high school linebacker of the year and to the pro uh, linebacker of the year. And the reason is, is because of our cause, we started a campaign called I Play Clean, and that's a campaign where we're trying to eradicate the use of steroids among high school students. And really the Butkus Award is a vehicle to get that message across. We've been fortunate to have uh, a number of people partner up with us, like Old Spice and EAS. And last year, we, uh, with our doctors, we came up with uh, some answers and of questions that people may have, of coaches may have, and, and student athletes may have. And uh, these kits were sent out to over 10,000 high schools last year. And this year, we're going to be able that the same kit is going to be available on our website at iplayclean.org. So that's the commercial part of this. The other part of it is, is of course, the award to roll. He uh, had an outstanding year. The voting was, was pretty darn close. I'm very proud of the selection committee that we have. We have Pro, uh, Hub Arkush, who's the publisher of Pro Football Weekly, and he's gotten together 51 selectors, uh, all some from pro coaches, general managers, scouts, all the way down to high school people, So, because we need them for the high school uh, award, of course. Um, what can I say? Uh, this guy. Uh, <clears throat> His playing ability speaks for itself, but what we also learn, what I learned later uh, through these surprise visits, and that's the way we conduct this now, we, we make surprise visits. Last year we went to, for the high school award, we had to go to Hawaii for Manti Teo, who's starting with uh, Notre Dame now, and then we went to uh, Winston-Salem, uh, Wake Forest University for Aaron Curry, and then we had DeMarcus Ware come to Chicago. So. That's the way we do it. Uh, we compile all this, make a 30-minute show, and uh, we'll have it on uh, Fox Sports Net, hopefully this, oh, after January, after we uh, announce the pro. So that's what all this filming is about. <clears throat> uh, again, getting back to Roa, it's not only, um, not only the playing uh, ability, that's quite obvious. Uh, it, what it also entails is, is that People in his situation, uh, people look up to him. He becomes a hero to a lot of people. And whether they like it or not, uh, you know, it's a responsibility for the athlete. And that's what we say on this trophy is that he should never flinch in giving back, uh, the old American tradition of giving back. He's got a wonderful opportunity to help other people. And I think we and the selection committee did a great job because I think this is the right guy again that so it's a twofold uh, your ability on the field but what do you do off the field and and, uh, and I'm sure uh, we've made another great selection and with that Jeff or coach or yeah, line, the yeah let's say uh, thank you to Mr. Buckus and uh, I mean I got two of my teammates here I say thank you to my whole team and, and Coach Saban uh, when I when I first got here I was just uh, an 18 year old kid running around uh, trying to learn trying to learn the system uh, but thanks to him and, and a lot of hard work from other coaches uh, I guess I turned out to be a pretty good linebacker uh, I mean it means a lot uh, it's big for me, but I think it's bigger than me. Uh, it's for my team uh, because without them, uh, I don't think I, mean, I would even get this award. Uh, these guys have played hard uh, all year, and I mean, I'm just thankful for them. Uh, I love the individual award, but I would like uh, no more than to see my teammates at the end of the year uh, with the national championship ring. Uh, it's huge. I'm sure my mom would be proud, but. Uh, I just want to say thank you again, and um, I don't know. I'm I'm, gonna, I'm at a loss for words. I never expected this. So thank you. Well, I'd like to thank uh, Dick Butkus um, for having the award. I think this is a great award. I think what the award represents 
uh, in terms of playing clean uh, is a great um, format for uh, making an emphasis of getting people to do things right and setting a good example for young people. I think the committee made a great selection in Rolando McLean, uh, not only because he had a great year on the field, uh, did a fantastic job for his team, uh, and also influenced his teammates in a very positive way, but his performance and his production individually was off the charts. Uh, so in every way, from a performance production standpoint, from a leadership standpoint, uh, his, his contribution to team success was as much as anybody on our team. And we're really proud of him for that. And for what Dick wants to do in terms of Rose's responsibility to represent uh, this award in a first-class way. Uh, I, I, I have every confidence that the committee selected the right guy to do that as well, uh, because this is a fine young man who has represented the University of Alabama in a first-class way, uh, not only as a football player on the field, uh, but as a person and as a student here at the university and uh, somebody who has always projected a real positive image uh, for young people. And we're very pleased and proud and happy of that. So again, Dick, thank you very much. Uh, this was a real fun thing we did today. Ro didn't know we were having an interview like we were on, and Dick walks in and gives him the award, so he, he really got surprised. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we really enjoyed it, and I certainly appreciate, you know, Javi and Mike coming over to, you know, to support, but uh, it was a real secret for us, and uh, it was a big surprise for Ro, so it was a lot of fun. So thank you very much.